Hi, this is Rob, Longevity Learning Lab. Still working on that motorized turntable. Uh, last time I changed it up a little bit and I got rid of the, the sprocket that I was going to do on this, right, with that wheel because it was too flimsy. I didn't really get the support on it. And uh, so over the weekend I'm thinking and thinking about it and that, that's the thing about manufacturing. <laughs> you're going to go through revisions. You never think that the first time you're going to make it, it's going to be the first time. And uh, that's why they start off with prototypes and they go through the revisions. Well, I got, we're going to go on revision B this time. The, the hub, the, the rim and the hub that I was gonna originally going to use, too heavy. This thing's getting too heavy on me now. Taking too much time. So I changed up, did some other little, little modifications on my own here. Let me show it to you. Now here's the beast. The only thing that's kind of original here still is the sprocket from the bicycle. But that's okay. I like that. I got two different sprockets, different sizes. This is adjustable with the, with the, the chain. And to tighten it up, the tensioner is right here with the little bolt. And then these bolts here will anchor it down. That's going to be staying like it is so far. Okay. This is gone. This is gone. Get rid of it. Throw it away. What we're going to do on top of here now, I've got a piece of stainless steel plate. And what we're going to do here now, we're going to lay this out and I'll show you how to do that. And that's going to go on top of here. But we've got to watch out about the sprocket and all that. So we've got to stiffen it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take a nice big, big chunk of half inch aluminum and we're going to go ahead and lay that out and bolt this on here. And that's going to go on top of the sprocket. This will go on top of that. And then we're going to go ahead and lay out our slots for our anchor points for the, whatever work we want to put on there. And plus it's, it's lighter for one thing. That thing, the thing was just gaining too much weight on me. So we're not going to do that. So, so far this is what it is. And uh, who knows? Might change something else. Let's lay this out and I'll be right back. Okay, this is going to be a real basic layout. Okay, we're just what we want to do is just find our center and then we're going to make our lines for our slots that we're going to cut with the plasma and that's where the bolts, the anchor bolts will come in. Now this piece of aluminum I've already laid out, disregard that hole right there, uh, but we're going to go ahead and drill some holes here that's going to anchor it onto our plate and then in the center we're going to drill a bigger hole because that's going to be for the, the bolt for the sprocket to fit through. Okay, and then, then this will be anchored to it. And then from the other side on the, the stainless plate, we're going to go ahead and countersink those holes so the bolts can go down there in a the countersink. And we'll see, I don't think I have to make any more stiffeners on this because I'm never really going to put anything too heavy on there. And this will keep it good enough for me. So what we want to do first is just find our center. So we'll go ahead, we don't have to make a line all the way across yet. And then uh, for our purposes, I'm going to use the Sharpie on here, so that way you can see it. Not really recommended to put Sharpie on stainless, but for our purposes, it's fine. Make our little line. So this way here, we got our center. And I know our, uh, our circle is all good, so we're good there. So then, just better eyeball set. We'll go like that. Oop, one side. There we go. Right about there. That's close enough for me. Okay, so now we got their centers. So we'll make our hole here and then with our lines we can come up this way here, which I think I will, and uh, then we'll drill our holes all at one time. So except for the center hole. And then we'll be set like that and then we'll drill everything so you know everything's nice and locked in place and we'll go ahead and uh, take care of that. I didn't want to put a, I wanted to keep the aluminum here so that's obviously that's why I'm not going to be welding it. I'm going to bolt it on here. You never know, something else could change. I might change my mind within the next hour. Okay, so now we know where our center is for that. Okay, I've already drilled the holes on my plate. So just for right now I'm just going to eyeball it right here, look for the 
the little center punch in the center like that. Then we take my square, my scale, just make sure we're nice and centered all the way around. Pretty close. A little bit. See, because when I make my slots, I can only go so far unless I want to make a radius on that, but I don't think so because with the slots, they only go so far anyway, and then the hold downs go even farther in. So, we got our mark there. We'll hold that and just make our little layout pencil mark. And I'll come back and I'll center punch that. And then we're good there. And, uh, Got our marks, then I'll take my Sharpie, just to double check it so I know I don't lose my hole. And we'll center punch that. That's another step. And just come back and we'll center punch these. Okay. And these holes here, I don't have to thread, but on, on the aluminum plate, I'm going to thread those. I'm just going to do a quarter 20 bolt and uh, make sure it's there all nice and flush. So let me go ahead and I'll drill these up and get them countersunk and tapped. And uh, yeah, that'll be all right. Okay, now we got the holes cut on this, right? And then our block, I've already drilled it into the sprocket and got the little um, nut underneath it. These are countersunk, so we're all nice and flat there and we're square. So now what we want to do is cut our slots or you can drill holes too because for our hold downs, this is how this is going to work. Okay, you've got, I'm using a carriage bolt, okay, and that would be to hold down your, your work. And then this bolt here, obviously, that's going to be a pivot point for, the, your, for your slot. Real easy, I mean, there's nothing hard about it. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, see where I wanna put my slots. If I went from hole to hole here, that's kinda a small cross square. So I'm gonna go from point here to point there, and that just makes it wider, more on the table, more bigger flange if you wanna hold it down. So then I'll just go ahead, and we gotta decide too how big, if I really wanna drill holes or make slots. The slots will actually take some of the strength out of the plate. So you can still just do a series of holes because my hold down has a slot. So that can work on that. So you, you make your own decision. I'm gonna go ahead and just make some slots here anyway so I can show you about the plasma and just make some sparks. So let's lay this out right quick. I'm just going point to point and I'm thinking about a, a three inch slot more than anything. Just like that. And that opens it up to all right. Pretty close to the same as the other one. And then see this at least gives me a point where I can have a starting point on it. So I come in like an inch and I go to four. And then the same thing all the way around. An inch and the four. That should give me plenty because I got to watch out because underneath that plate right there. And I'm just going to use the pattern from the inside of that hold down and uh, use that for my plasma. So really I just eyeball it. Give myself a little bit more room. And then again here, I'm, instead of using the scrub, I am using my Sharpie, but that's okay. Yeah, that gave me plenty of room. I can see it right through the other hole. Then we'll cut this up, and this is pretty much knocked out. I'm getting curious. I hope this thing doesn't blow up on me. Those are going to be my slots. Okay, let me get my plasma. 
Okay, I'm getting ready here to cut our slots. And uh, it's easy, I'm gonna, well, it's gonna take me a while to do this and clean it up. We're gonna go ahead and uh, why don't you guys cut out and go check out some other longevity equipment and stuff like that. And by the time you come back, I'll have this cleaned up. We'll have it on the turntable. We'll power this puppy up. I'm ready to go. Anyway, hey, I'm Rob, and uh, join me next time on Longevity Learning Lab. We'll see you.